Greetings and salutations, my beautiful people. Sorry, Cat Ogress, I stole your style. I am the one and only Sonic Ride 9, and welcome back to the bonus episode of Sonic Generations. You must be wondering, what? A bonus episode? Why are you doing a bonus episode? Well, for good reason. You see, I am planning to show off the remaining stuff that I forgot to show off in the Let's Play. Specifically, the DLC. Now, there was only one DLC pack that has been released only via pre-order, and that is the Casino Night level. When I say Casino Night level, I kind of mean it's not really a level, it's more of a uh, it's more of a pinball table than anything. And uh, there is Act 1 and Act 2, but they're basically the same, except one is with Classic Sonic and the other is with Modern Sonic. So, I'm just going to show off one of these because I don't think you guys really want to see two episodes, two like levels of pinball where not a lot has changed. I gotta say, I do like the music. Music is very, very classy. And jazzy too. There's old classic Sonic. So let's get started. Like I said, it's basically pinball. If you've played a pinball machine before, then you probably already know what to expect with this sort of thing. Um, basically, uh, for PS3 users, L1 does left, uh, left um, flipper, R1 does right flipper, and uh, yeah, basically get as many points as you can. That's all I really need to say, really. It's pinball. Um... I guess I can also, um, while we're doing this, I can explain a few things of what's been happening because I've been taking a little bit of a hiatus in terms of uh, doing videos and such ever since I finished um, doing the playthrough with Pudsey. Um, basically, I've been very busy. I've been busy with college work, which is not easy in the slightest, especially if you're taking a computing class. Some of the teachers can be quite mean sometimes, but uh, I've got a bit of um, spare time on my hand and I figured, hey, might as well give these people what they want and finish off things properly. Um, so yeah, let's uh, pinball our way to victory. Yeah. Come on. And, uh, oh, whoops, okay. For those who did not, who have not received this DLC, um, there are more flaws to this pinball table, as you can see right here. If you get all those green lights, you can go to another section of the pinball table. My god, Sonic's going crazy. If you hold square, you can actually uh, position where you want to go by using Sonic's spin dash. I'm alright at pinball games. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not great at pinball, but. I'm just okay. In, in terms of pinballs. And I failed. Well, I kind of wanted to end this quickly anyway. <laughs> that is not a great score, if I'm going to be honest. Um, you can probably find uh, the video of the pinball table in full on other channels because I kind of sucked right there. <laughs> so, what else is there to show? Well, there is a few other things that we can show off in this uh, bonus episode that we shall call it. Um, yeah, it's in the night. <clears throat> Thank you. So you probably did not you if, if you did or did not notice at the end of the last part part 12 I believe or part 13 um I managed to get a new skill um a very special skill a skill which that can um that involves a certain uh, version of Sonic Super Sonic yes whoops I did not confirm it. But yeah, I probably didn't, I don't think I showed this off in the playthrough, but yeah, this is the skills area where you can input different skills to make Sonic pretty much play better. Like, be faster, um, have different abilities, uh, abilities like uh, the 
shields from Sonic 3 and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to show off is one particular skill that you get after beating the final boss against the Time Eater, which is the Supersonic skill. And I'm going to show both of these in Green Hill since Green Hill is one of my favourite stages. Even though it's easy, even though it's easy, it's still one of my favourite stages. Just because it's really easy to get uh, Supersonic to appear. So basically, what you need to do is you need to get 50 rings, which is pretty much standard Supersonic fare. Collect 50 rings and then jump in the air and you become Supersonic. Fairly standard stuff. Um, so I guess while we're doing this, and I'm trying to collect 50 rings, I can explain some of my other plans that I'm going to be doing as of... Um, Lay oh, never mind. I got 50 rings, and we can transform into Super Sonic! Um, so, from past games, I guess we shall put it, um, Super Sonic has always been the most overpowered hedgehog in the entire Sonic series. His speed has always been, like, twice, twice as fast as regular Sonic. He's invincible. And... He's just really, really powerful. In this game, though, I don't know what they did, but I think they nerfed him. And by nerf, I mean made him not as good as when he, what he used to be in, say, Sonic 2 and Sonic 3. Where he doesn't move as fast. He loses rings quite quickly, because if you didn't know, Super Sonic costs rings in order to stay powerful. And, yeah, it just doesn't feel as good as it used to be. I mean, I'm going fast here because um, I got the super speed shoes. But, yeah, classic super science, kind of a disappointment. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm sure there are modders out there who have got the PC version and have managed to make Supersonic as powerful as it used to be. But right now, since I'm playing the PS3 version and 360 version... He's not as good. Not as good as he used to be, if I'm going to be honest. Um. Ah, yes, I collected some red rings. Awesome. Um. Might as well show off modern Super Sonic, since we have. Uh, we're on pretty good timing at the moment. Uh, so, modern Super Sonic. Let's do this. Skill customization. I probably should have jet and dash. I completely forgot what that is. Um, oh, it's yeah, supersonic. Here we go. Confirm. Quick, there we go. All right, time for modern supersonics. Time in the spotlight. So, modern supersonic. He's quite overpowered. But the thing is, while classic Supersonic loses rings quite quickly, modern Supersonic loses rings very quickly. He drains rings uh, like, no, it ain't no thing. And we're off. So like always, collect 50 rings, you become Supersonic. Um, so like I was saying before, my plans for future videos. Um, I've discussed it with Pudsey, and we've decided that I am going to be doing a co-op playthrough with her um, sometime in the future. I haven't decided when, but it's going to be sometime after Crash 3, because I want to get to Crash 3, and I want to get to another game, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, but the game I'm planning on doing after this, after this bonus video... Um, and the Let's Play Demos um, series, which I am planning to finish soon. Um, is going to be... Should I say it now? Yeah, I'll say it now. It's going to be Little Big Planet 1. The game I'm going to be playing next, after Sonic Generations and Let's Play Demos is finished, is going to be Little Big Planet 1. Because I wanted to get to that series for quite a while. And it's going to be a silo commentary playthrough with just me. Um, and, uh, you know, 
That'll be fun. It's going to be a challenge because uh, I haven't played this big Planet one in forever. <clears throat> but um, yeah, and then after that. I plan on doing Crash Bandicoot 3. I finally get a chance to cover that game. Since I covered Crash 1 and Crash 2. And it makes sense I should cover Crash 3. And um, then my co-op playthrough of Pudsy will begin. So keep that in mind to my keep that in mind for when for um, what of upcoming videos I'll be doing. Anyway. Super Sonic! So, modern Super Sonic. This is he is slightly faster. When he's just moving normally like this. But what makes Super Sonic overpowered is this. Super Sonic can fly, basically. But there's just one little problem with this. Look at his ring counter. Yeah, I had 100 rings earlier. Now I only have... It's going down really, really quickly. And that's why I just don't like using modern Super Sonic. Because he drains rings... Like, he's drinking soda or something. He's just... Oh, man. I just don't like using Super Sonic in this game. I mean, it's cool, but they just did some things where I just don't like playing as him. But I'm sure there's mods out there for the PC version that have fixed uh, both Super Sonics to make them more awesome. Alright, um, well, I guess there's only one last thing that I need to show off, and that is this. The Sega Mega Drive, or the Genesis in America. Here, you can play the original Sonic. Yeah, I, I, like seriously, the original Sonic. Now, I'm not sure which version, if it's the American version or the EU version, but I'm assuming... I'm assuming it's the American version, even though I it, um, even though that it said Mega Drive um, on the, uh, the menu, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much the original Sonic as you uh, remember it, except for the fact that I think there's a bit of an emulation problem with um, this particular version of Sonic Generations because for some reason the music seems a little, I don't know, it seems like a bit. It sounds a bit glitchy, and it just doesn't sound right for some reason. Maybe there's something that there's a little bit of a problem with, like emulating, like the classic, excuse me, the classic game on a modern console. But it's cool, nonetheless. It's a really cool little Easter egg that uh, you guys can uh, unlock on Science Generations. I might as well just show off Green Hill Zone, Act 1, 2, and 3, and then that'll pretty much do it for generations. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this playthrough. I certainly have. It's been a blast. Um, kind of an interesting question I'd like to post to all of my fans who have watched this series. I would like to ask, what is your favourite part of my playthrough? Because, you know, I really... You, the, you guys who actually do post some positive um, feedback, you guys are absolutely awesome. I mean, you you are the guys that pretty much keep this channel alive. Even though it's probably not the most popular channel ever. I'll concede to that. But, nonetheless, I do love, love, the gu love you guys who do leave like some positive feedback on my videos saying, Oh, you love the I love this series. I love this... I love the video, great video, you know, all those comments. You guys are absolutely amazing. And you guys out there are just awesome. So, you know, just uh, pop, a, pop a comment in the comment section below tell and tell uh, me what was your favorite part of this playthrough. That would be greatly appreciated. Oh no! Do not worry, this is not like a full playthrough of Sonic 1. I mean... If you guys ever want me to play through the original Sonic, I'm more than happy to. 
Um, but as of right now, I don't think I'll be getting to Sonic 1 for a while. Unless it's greatly requested. Anyway, boss time. The easiest boss in Sonic history, or one of the easiest bosses in Sonic history. Ow. That hurts. Yeah, he's really easy. The, the, the chain, uh, chain ball attack. But, um, yeah. That is about it for the Sonic Generations playthrough as a whole. I thank you guys so much for watching this entire playthrough from start to finish. If you did that, awesome. If you didn't do that, then, hey, you're still awesome in my book. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, stay tuned for more. And join me next time where I will begin my next playthrough, Little Big Planet. See you all and have a good night.